Hello McWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, I just learned that there are super heavy mechs in the game and uh, what you need to look for is the Smooth Stone mission. The mission is called Smooth Stone and um, that's what we are trying to do. I don't know if we're gonna get there today or next episode or the episode thereafter, but I'm gonna keep a keen eye on what we can find in terms of contracts. Uh, by the way guys, I'm gonna quickly wait for my mechs to be repaired. I need to put the Marauder on the front because it is so damn damaged. And uh, yeah, after we, we got everything done, we're gonna take a priority mission on this planet here. So I, I was lucky and I, wait, I was not so lucky because that is not gonna happen here. 23 days. Um, give me a second, guys. I need to quickly sell some stuff and then we go ahead and play the priority mission. Do we still have any heavies? I still believe in the catapult or the catafrag. <laughs> Therefore, yeah. Uh, no victor here. Let's go. And that should almost be enough. With the awesome, we should have enough money. That's the cool thing, guys. Now that we find a lot of assault mech parts, we can just sell them and we are fine in terms of financial reports. So that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna wait for that. We're gonna wait for the Marauder to be ready again. Last mission it got thrashed so hard. There was barely any armor left on the Marauder and the 57 days of repair time here was all armor. There was no crit, there was nothing broken inside. And uh, that's kind of funny. Uh, speaking of uh, kind of funny, I wanna refit the, the Grasshopper. That's what we need to do here. Give me a second. Why? Because we have Patrick materials destroyed and the chain sword damaged. Now, what we do here in terms of build now is the following. I'm gonna put an XL engine in. Hooray. <laughs> and I also want to bring... Uh, I also bring the one something like a combat shield. I have a feeling that we need that. In order to get that, we bring doo -doo -doo, the combat shield L, brings us 15% reduced damage taken and increased damage reduction from guarded to 50%. That means after we punch somebody, we have a 50% damage reduction rather than a 25% damage reduction. The jump distance is completely neg negligible because we don't jump and um, it gives us 20% reduced visibility in cover. I mean, you just hide behind the shield or what? And reduced signature. Uh huh. But it says plus. Plus reduced signature. I think this is a little bit of a wording problem here. Anyhow, I'm gonna get rid of the plasma lance. Goodbye, plasma lance. You were you were a fun, fun fella for the time that you were uh, on my side, but now I don't need you anymore. And with this here, guys, we actually have the ability to get something done. As in, give me a second. Warfare suite. Do we even need a warfare suite? Isn't the Guardian ECM better? That's, that gives us plus one maximum evasion. Uh huh. One evasion pips gained from movement. Uh huh. Accuracy with ranged weapons? Uh, no. 20% plus increased sensor range. 15% uh, increased uh, sight range. Minus 50% reduced signature from enemy sensors. And it's a, uh, yeah, ECM thingy. What I am having in mind is the following I'm gonna drop this and I'm gonna get a Guardian ECM, which gives us. One maximum evasion, one evasion from being moved, and one plane defense. I think that's way better than the warfare suite that we had here. We also want something like a bigger fusion core. So 320. 400? Oh, not quite. Okay, so it's a 320 fusion core that we have now. And with this, um, we could actually afford an exchanger or something in order to be able to shoot weapons. Let's get that. Okay, we got an exchanger now. All right. Then we take, I don't know, maybe even the heat bank. And then we armor up. Is that what we do? Or, I mean, Alpha Strike is still huge. It is so damn big. We could take the clan exchanger, but I have a feeling that we want the clan exchanger on another, um, on another mech. Mm, no, you know what we do? We take the heat bank, definitely. And... Hmm. I'm just thinking about... I'm just thinking about... No, 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 wait. Is the chainsaw even worth it? Here's what I think, guys. We could drop the chainsaw and just go for bigger punches. I mean, the chainsaw is nice and interesting and it deals 60 damage. Uh, it's 12 times 5. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it has 2 accuracy, but... Just bigger punches would be better, I believe. So what we do here is, yeah, that's what we do. Okay, I figured it out. Now, we're gonna take um, ER 
medium pirate lasers and we're gonna put two of them here in the arm because they add six damage to our base melee damage right and then we amplify them with the claws and the, uh, the hands and uh, anything else is that what we do i guess yes okay uh that is flat damage so we can t uh, leave it in there that's good Mm, we're gonna keep the fluid gun. I actually want another support system. Can we get there? Mm, we have uh, the ability to take a tag. And that's basically it. Do we have a flame breath? No, we don't, sadly. Okay, so this is possible. Then we're gonna take... Like, two more slots are available. What do we do with them? I'd like to have a haywire, honestly. But the fluid guns are probably better. And now that we have paint, I think Inferno is not a thing anymore. Let's go with acid. Let's uh, obscure their vision and then just mark them for death with the tag and the 20% damage increase from the acid. I think this is what we do here. Okay. Uh, now we need to take out the claws and the hands again because absolute damage before the relative damage. Otherwise, um, it would be a horrible mess. And uh, afterwards, we're going to see what we're going to do. Cool. So I think we got a build now. A way better build than before. Uh, okay, 7 days on the Grasshopper, 12 days on the Marauder. That means as soon as the Grasshopper is ready, we're gonna build it or rebuild it again with the Claws and the... or the Claw, we only have one still, and the Hand Actuator. But yeah, I think this is... this is way better. Let me get the Claws back. Here we go. Hands melee. There we go. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's plus 1 melee accuracy, 40% melee damage. And now that we have a flat 6 damage uh, times... Uh, seven eight that's pretty good on top of the i think it's 30 no 55 base damage okay um that's pretty good and then we amplify it with 40 percent from the hands and 70 percent from the claws and it's gonna be good now two more tons uh two more slots what do we do with them i wish i had another energy slot here because then i could fit another pirate laser but what we can do, technically, is we just put a... Wait, we can't put double heat sinks in there, right? Give me a second. So, the heat management, uh, the heat sinking is 39 here. If I put a double heat sink in the core... No, that's not possible. Okay. You can only put single heat sinks in the core. Uh, I had to uh, redo, uh, remove it first and then install it again. I missed out an opportunity here. I don't like... I gotta say, I don't like that we have... Um, spare weight here. <laughs> Lower arm gyro, heavy gyro? No, we need the defensive gyro, definitely. Combat shield? We cannot have two combat shields, I believe. Um, a targeting system? No. We, we definitely do not need that. But there is nothing in terms of... Um, maybe jump jets. But then, yet again, uh, we would had the minus 20% jump distance thanks to the shield. So they wouldn't do so much. We could do this. And then upgrade the armor. I mean, we had the ability to jump. We had the ability to make a death from above move. Could be something. Just to have it. Just to have the option. We don't need to do it. But sometimes, in a desperate situation, it could be nice having the ability to jump uh, on the enemy's heads. Dealing even more damage. I don't think that we're ever going to use them, though. A bunch of single heat sinks would be possible. We go with this. Okay, let's go. Let's just armor up again, and we have a build. Okay, guys. So, what I want to do is, I want to wait for the mechs to be ready again. I want to take a look at our mech warriors, because they probably have a bunch of XP. Letters from home. Uh, ha, ha. So, Decca got mail from home, from a long-distance lover back home, and it's a breakup letter. What shall we do? Uh, we... Advise Morphium to pass the mail to its recipient, or praise him for considering Decker's morale. I think... We go with the letter. Morphium has gained the following tags, low spirits. Yeah, okay. Later that week, he ran into Decker in the mess. He seems far too relaxed to be struggling with a broken heart. At the table nearby, Morphium catches your eye. By the circles under his eyes, it looks like he followed your advice to withhold Decker's letter, and it's cutting into his sleep. Okay, sorry, Morphium. Uh, but anyhow, let's go. Let's go to the barracks. Let's see what my mech warriors can do in terms of... Oh, Behemoth is in low spirits as well? Oh, we have to do something with our morale here. 
Uh, she definitely wants higher tactics. That's very important. Yes, Commander. Decker is now the man. The manliest man alive. Almost. He doesn't need much, but uh, he is almost a 10, 10, 10, 10 guy. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 4, four times 10. Standing by. Okay, let's go. Command center. Contracts. We're going to go with our lands that we have until we find something huge that is uh, new to us. And uh, we still have some... Some max to be repaired. What we could technically do here is we could just take 2 million sea bills in order to repair our boar set, in order to just get some money. But I, I can already see that that's gonna be a bad choice. Is it just a money run here, guys? I mean, we can play another salvage mission afterwards. Money is good. That's super high money. That's still good money. With 3 out of 13 salvage. I think we go with that. And just too greedy. I just want to build more stuff. And therefore I need stuff. Okay. We have the Marauder. We have the Grasshopper. Now with the Combat Shield. And Jump Jets. We have the Gaussilla and the Atlas. Let's go guys. I really want to mix and match my lands a little bit. But again therefore. We need to build a max. And I have the feeling that we need to build them one at a time. So that we put in another option that is kind of well optimized onto the battlefield. Or into our lands, right? So we have at the moment another Gaussilla that is lying around. That is half built. Then we have the Boar's Head, which is completely broken. That cannot do anything right now. We have to repair it for 1.4 million in order to get that uh, just repaired. So I think I'm going to focus on the Gaussilla at the moment. Try to make it as efficient as it is possibly getting. And afterwards we care about the boar's head. Okay, so that's the plan at the moment. We are playing a battle, which is super good. I like battles. And we are playing against pirates. Okay, maybe maybe the dream comes true and I get my pirate cut off right. Such a good melee man, guys. Such a good one. Okay. Should be fairly easy. We have played this mission, I think, in the last episode. We go up here and uh, we ignore the reinforcements which are coming from here for the moment. And Decker. Hmm, nice print distance there, Decker. Okay. So, with that, he is extremely evasive. But we have two 100 ton mechs. Which we can't get into sensor lock range yet. Uh, okay, in that case, yes, I'm gonna push forward with Switchblade way. first. Because it might be that we find another mech coming from here that gets into sensor range. Or this guy here. Exactly. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Is it? I think it touches the line. And when it touches the line, we can sensor lock it. Seems to be a King Crab. Seems to be a Kaiju. I got a sensor trace. Ooh, we got some kaiju parts already. That thing has uh, massive PPC quirks. We're gonna pepper it with missiles. Let's go. Yeah, sadly, he is guarded. Uh, at the same right, uh, he has, like, no armor. It's 50%? Yeah, shoddy condition. So, shoot first for the accuracy and then moving, of course. Uh, Decker is not gonna Decker anything here. Let's reserve. Let the kaiju push forward. Okay. Cool, wow, we can do it again. <laughs> Hello, Kaiju. And we also have line of sight. Location confirmed. Let's go. Uh, I think we're gonna even use Warlord here. Just to get the heat down and get the higher accuracy and just take the Kaiju out of the game. Structure exposed, fusion core crit, engine destroyed, ammo explosion, everybody One dead. Cool. Hey, that worked out. It's another 80 toner. And another 100 ton mech. Wow. Okay. So we're gonna push forward with Behemoth again. Because she's our sensor lock specialist. And wait, where would the Gaussilla go? Do we have line of sight over here? Might be. I wanna see the 100 toner though. And it is... Another King Crab. But this time the Pirate King Crab. The Kraken. That's super interesting, guys. What's up, boss? Uh, no, that's just Decker. Yeah, here we go. Move into position. Let's go. Ear large lasers, Gauss rifles. Headshot? Nope. But we have a ooh, we have the arm destroyed. Target. Now the interesting thing about the, the Kraken is that it has a ballistic accuracy. Quirk. That's pretty good. So we can make it a Daka mech if we want it. Something like autocannons. Rotary autocannons. I'd love to do that. 
Anyhow, guys, um, Deckard's gonna push forward, and I want him to take care of the mech on the left side, the 80-tonner, which seems to be an awesome 8Q with some PPCs, and that's <gasps> an Annihilator. Okay. So, thanks to the fact that we have a tag, shooting makes sense now. Mm. And we can fluid gun here. Yep. Target acquired. No tag. No heat. Um, no pain, nothing. Good to go. Anyhow, guys, we, we just quickly kill this guy. And I think I also want to berserk directly. Just to make sure. On the move. Here we go. Mm, it's not as sure as I thought it was. Well, we have a knockdown and we have two PPCs down. And he's painted. Why is there why is there heat? Why is he overheating? Or getting heat damage. Is it the acid? No. Uh, maybe the heatsink exploded? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. Interesting. So what we need to make sure is um, to kill the Kraken real quick so that we can focus on the Annihilator there on the right side. Yeah. And I think Switchblade is the man. Or maybe Behemoth. I think it's rather, rather Switchblado. Although I can just go in there. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, she's gonna go up here. Trying to kill Mr. Kaiju. Firing a full salvo. Didn't connect the Gauss rifle, sadly. But I wanted to break line of sight to the Annihilator on the side there. That was important to me. Yeah, I didn't quite get it though. Hello. Y you can move as well? That's a lot of impacts. <laughs> LBXs, guys. LBXs. Okay. We cannot probably establish line of sight here. Not direct line of sight. So we go... Oh, wait. We can just do it from here. Sure. Let's go. Cool and pot explosion. Oh, yeah. The machine guns, guys. They got crits. That is so good. And he punched out. That's exactly what I wanted to do with the machine guns. I love him. Okay, um, so since the, we have Decker for the awesome next turn, I'm gonna start working on the Annihilator now. And look at that. Again, we have the 50% damage reduction after meleeing now, thanks to the combat shield. That's great, that's glorious. Okay, direct line of sight, always better. Let's try to establish that. And shoot him! The missiles! Hell yeah! Oh, this is so beautiful. So damn beautiful. Now the funny thing is, if I use Decker now to punch this guy, and if I kill here, then the Annihilator would be able to move as the first mech. And Decker is not that evasive right now. I think it's still the way to go. Let's do it. So we take a bit of damage. And since he's running LB access, the damage should spread anyway. Well, Decker, you, you just dodge it, okay? If you can dodge shotgun pellets, Mech destroyed. You, you can dodge everything. <laughs> Let's go. Decker. He's pretty good at that. Look at that. Hell yeah. Decker is the man. Okay. Man, so so much good salvage here. Or so much interesting Waiting salvage, forward. to say that. On my way. Okay, we're gonna... Firing on that should honestly be a knockdown. Inflicted some heavy damage. Nope. Ready for orders. Um, we're gonna do the knockdown from here now. My way. That's maybe even the kill. Uh, I think overheating is not really worth it. Let's not do that. No, he was running XL. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Was that it? Tango down. Was that it? Mission. Mission successful. Okay, cool. Oh man, I should... Honestly, I'm very torn between... Hey, we got now more Kaiju and uh, Kraken parts. Which means that we could salvage more King Crabs now. This is ridiculous. 35,307 XP out of a mission. It has to be a bug. Um, but yeah, here, this is what I wanted to tell you. There's the Kaiju. There's the Kraken, right? 
So, King Crabs inbound. Anything else? Cooling ports would be, oh, would be super nice to get them. But yeah, we, ha we have some salvage and the uh, loot list is actually pretty low, pretty short. Maybe we can get cooling ports. That would be a huge performance increase. 4% heat reduction. No, it's not. Okay, but annihilator parts. And again, we, we got two king crabs. <laughs> Finish them. And both of them have quirks. The kaiju is quirked for PPCs and uh, Kraken is quirked for autocannons so, or ballistic weapons. Is it autocannons or ballistics? I don't know if you can be so specific with that, but um, I think it's ballistic. Anyhow, guys, great mechs. Improved autocannons, they say. Okay, it's only autocannons. And that's reduced PPC heat generation. You know what we have to do. Let's make a PPC monster out of the kaiju. I think it has six energy hard points. And we have something like a PPC capacitator lying around. Okay. Interesting. Oh, we can repair a cooling port here. So, that's the, the Kraken, the ballistic guy. Um, 500,000. Oh my god. A rotary autocannon 2. That shoots 6 times 25 damage. Nice. 6 recoil, 10 variation damage on top of that, so it could technically shoot 6 times 35 or 15. So, yeah. Uh, lower arm actuator. Yeah, got 2 ballistics here, 2 energy. It is able to be a melee mech of some sort, actually. Given the fact that we can put 4 energy weapons in here. AKA ER pirate lasers. And then uh, it has a hand actuator, so we can put claws in there, which makes sense in a king crab. And we, then we can put a fusion core 400 and let it run to the front line and then just pincing people. That would, of course, completely ignore the ballistic works, but okay. Uh, I don't want to invest into the, the repairs right now, so we discard. And the kaiju. Let's see. Ooh, lots of stuff destroyed. That would cost 600,000. And yeah, this guy has uh, six energy hard points, uh, three in each side, and then two ballistic on the right shoulder, and two missiles on the left shoulder, and um, actually support systems everywhere. I like in, in the center and in the head, that's interesting. We can put something like a haywire in the center, tag in the head, and then go with the six PPC build, technically? I don't know, maybe? <laughs> with a capacitator and crazy heat sinking? It could be something. I really want to build that. I mean, imagine six PPCs on an assault mech. I really want to build that later. Well, later, uh, not not right now. So what I'm thinking about right now is taking another mission um, after, of course, we have recovered and uh, are not fatigued anymore. It was pretty easy. That was like a walk in the park here. We're gonna try to find another um, clan mission. Okay, for that we need to see. The government. Extremely interesting, time-sensitive piece of information. Da, da, da. Defector. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It claims to be responsible for extracting data from blah blah blah. Doesn't tell me. Ah, we don't know what data it is, but the pirates cannot uh, be allowed to keep it. No, I want to go against pirates right now. Secure borders, battle, active patrol of pirate mechs. No. Reconquest, pirates, pirates, pirates. Dan Snow Raven is tracking an extremely heavy mech with the local government heraldry. Provocation is almost certainly a bait of a trap. Shall we go with that? Seems like a good, good uh, little training here. And after that, we try to get some money. That's what we do. Uh, and try to get off of this planet here. We're gonna dive deeper into clan territory. And that's what we do. So, what we need is, um, again, salvage, 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 salvage. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of time after this here. So we play this mission, which uh, might be also pretty easy. I'm aiming for a three mission video today, by the way. Um, after that, we take a little bit of time to see what we have lying around that we actually don't need. If we have like a million medium lasers, we're gonna sell half a million of them uh, in, in order to get some money so that we can travel to the next planet. I'm looking for the smooth stone mission now, guys. I, I didn't know it existed. And now I want to see super heavy mechs and I want to salvage them. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Initiated. 
Okay, here we are. It's a vehicle. Hello, vehicle. For my opening. Oh. Standing Behemoth. By. Sprinting forward. Going full speed. We see a hundred tonner. Sure. Let's get that. That, uh... Got a sensor okay, it's a Marauder too. We see a PPC rocket launcher. Oh my god, how many rocket launchers do you have, buddy? That's a lot. Ready for orders. This guy is crazy. Can't establish line of sight here. But what I can do... I can sprint forward. And shoot him with the missiles. Let's go. Uh, government forces have full armor, obviously. Because they are rather well equipped. So, we gotta be careful. Cool thing is that now that he's unsteady, he needs to push forward. Because he wants to shake off his unsteady state. And that means that I can establish line of sight somewhere. Where was that? Can I establish direct line of sight? Uh, yeah. Over here. 60%. Not really good. It's probably as good as it gets, though. Okay, do we use Warlord? No, not yet. We're gonna use that for a cooldown turn. We just shoot regularly and hope for the best. Okay, it's fine for me. Wait. Ooh, they have reinforcements. Also a 25 ton vehicle. Never yes, seen a 25 ton in, in ages. Let's move. Okay, Decker can tag. Obviously, I should have used him first. Uh, we are not shooting the pirate lasers. Not too much. Only two of them. And he's tagged. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, see, there's still some movement going on. Although, we don't see what's there. Like, those are not moving. Mm hmm. A 35 ton mech. The hell? What is that? That madness. Are you running Janus here? Are you running Wolfhounds? Okay, I'll take it. I mean, sure. Now look at that. That's funny. I thought we were in five skull territory here. So yeah. Seems to be something like a wolf horn, actually. Let me see. That might have been a plasma cannon. What is that? It's a panther. It's panther 35 ton? I thought it was 30 ton. Am I, am I wrong? I don't know, my mind is maybe tricking me. <laughs> That's a mobile HQ, wait, with a medium laser and nothing else? Guys, what are you throwing at me here? What's up, boss? That's not that's not good. I want to reserve Decker, obviously, because he wants to be in super close range. And uh, thanks to the fact that they bring the reinforcements, the guys in the back first, they should. We should have some time to actually shoot down the Marauder before it does something. Uh, we do it with... Ready for orders. With... Hmm. Switchblade. I think Switchblade is just gonna stand here. It's gonna use Warlord and then move afterwards. Yes, absolutely. Let's go. Get that pinpoint damage on. And the machine guns afterwards. Ooh. We have a head hit. Give me a second. Oh, four damage left. And also we destroyed a good amount of his rockets, which is nice. And we push forward after that. By the way, the vehicle that we see on the left side is a Bulldog. The Bulldog is running. I'm gonna show you in a second. Is running something. I think it was an auto cannon 10. Nice spam build. But my spam build is better because I can repeat it. Uh, was it an auto cannon 10? Oh no, it's two auto cannon 2s and two SRM 4s and two machine guns. Okay. No! Yeah, now Decker can punch him. Let's go, Decker. Just finish the job. Also, nice Looks purple like camo pattern. I like that. Not quite what I expected. Mm -hmm. But we have paint and acid. Scored a critical hit. And he panicked and he's knocked down. Kapow. Alright. So, question is, do, do we try to... Do we try to salvage this guy? Oh, actually, we have an 85 ton here. We have a 100 tonner there, an 80 tonner, and a 90 tonner. That's not as easy as I was thinking it would be. Okay, so... Commander. With that in mind, we're gonna push forward here. And, yeah, this is the problem. 
I think I'm gonna sensor lock the panther in order to actually be able to shoot him. And we, we don't need to deal with him anymore. He has only two P uh, one PPC and one medium laser left. Um, I'm gonna go with something that is more dangerous, as in those guys on the right side. And I don't want to have the panther jumping around me, shooting his PPCs, therefore he's gonna get some missiles to the face now. So here we go. Bye, panther. Even gonna use Warlord. Why not? Honestly? Ah, I cannot use Warlord in multi-target. Damn it, game. Damn it. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. That's okay. So Panther down. And we keep pushing forward. No problem. No problem. Cool. So, of course, uh, Decker is uh, in the opener, more or less. That's not really open. If they have indirect line of, uh, or indirect fire capabilities, they can shoot him still, because... No, they cannot. Because they don't have line of sight anymore. This guy is on the ground. The Panther was delivering the LOS. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, and then you, up there. It's fine. Ah, still, we have some enemies on the field that we need to deal with. Waiting for orders. I honestly don't want to use Decker right now. He's in a good spot. He is very evasive and he is guarded. So let's um, wait a second. Deal with the Bulldog on the left side. That's another guy that just needs to go. And or we shoot this guy down now. I think it's a good idea, actually. Good to go. Yeah, he's, he's on the ground. Let's capitalize on that. Can we do a multi-target? Doesn't make sense here, right? Nope. Okay. Location. Mode order. Order head. And I think we're gonna leave out one ear medium. I copy. Just for the heat management. We even got the headshot. All right. And the destruction. Enemy down. Cool. So four more enemies on the right side. A bunch more here on the left. The mobile HQ is completely irrelevant. I can so ignore that thing. Gauss Zilla. Gauss freaking Zilla. Reporting. Okay, so that's not good. We, we have to deal with this one, this, this specific 100 tonner as soon as possible. Good to go. That is bad. So we need to go now. We have to move somewhere. Ow. Okay, that's very unfortunate. The problem is that the enemies are kind of forcing me to move Switchblade right now, otherwise he would risk a uh, knockdown and then, of course, getting cold shot stuff. I cannot have that. I wish I could use Behemoth my way. first. No, she used her turn already, so never mind. Never mind. I take everything back. Confirm. Cool. Bulldog down. So, how do we do it? I think Decker has to establish line of sight for Morphium, and then Morphium is gonna lose a barrage of missile against them. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, sensor lock on Behemoth. Orders. That's not good. Jumping? No, I wanted to sprint. Okay, let's go on their flank here. I wanted to keep some distance between me and them, because I, when I'm engaging next turn, I want to be able to sprint over to the Gaussilla and have a good amount of evasion. So we can obscure paint this guy down. Locked on target. The Hadamoto Chi. And tag him. Uh, only tag him. This is, by the way, a Hell Slinger. That's the Battlemaster hero. Work does he have? Improved cooling. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The good old Hell Slinger. Okay, and then there is a Highlander with uh, LRM 20, PPC, SRM 6. Okay. Okay. So, the question that I'm having right now is, is it worth shooting the Annihilator, or am I going for anything else? For example, the Hatamoto Chi, because that guy's gonna go in his back, and his back is pretty squishy, right? And the Gaustilla is running a double XL engine. Uh, double XL? Double XL. So, wherever I hit, I kill. Therefore, I think... It's better to move forward, or wait, just shoot and then move forward. Yeah, that's what we do. Let's go for the Hata Motochi. 
And then, uh, again, Decca is just gonna kill the Gauss-Zilla next turn, because he has the initiative. And we don't waste missiles on any other target. Although we have an SRM crit, that's pretty good. Scored a critical hit. Okay, let's go. I get you on the move. Heat gauge is redlining. Ooh, I didn't see that. Okay, never mind. Hellslinger, going for Behemoth with the PPC and the streaks, and that's a problem because the arm is getting. No, only shooting PPCs here. Okay. Wanted to say arm is getting thrashed, but it's not. <laughs> Mobile HQ. <laughs> Go for it! You can do it! So worst case scenario would be if we hit an arm. That means that we need to berserk right now. Mm -hmm. And again, we need to engage from the back directly. It's gonna be a little bit risky because we have that Highlander behind us now. But I believe in our evasion. Targeting for physical attack. It was the leg. That's exactly what I was talking about. Ah, oh, damn it. That was the worst case scenario. So what happened? We destroyed the leg with the damage that we had. And then the remaining damage would travel over to the adjacent component, which is the side torso. But it was not enough to rip it apart. We have six, six damage left over. Uh-oh. And now he's angry. Oh, he's so angry. Oh, look how angry he is. Okay. Uh, 44 damage still. Not good. Oh, damn it. Okay. Waiting for okay, okay, okay. So what we do here is... Um, uh, we, have to, we have to shoot the Hatamoto Chi again. Super important. Because we might knock him down and rip off his side also. And I think he is running... Uh, standard engine, never mind. So... Um, I'm mildly panicking right now. Let's shoot... Something like this. Okay. Okay, I just want to help out Decker here. Therefore, removing enemies that can hurt him. Get this done, folks. Yeah. So, uh, we got a PPC down, we got an SRM down, we got the mech down on the ground, which means that his uh, aim should be pretty messed up, I believe. I hope. Aye, aye. And, um, yeah, now he needs to prioritize standing up again, which means that Behemoth can't follow up on whatever. Uh, and she can shake off her stability in return. It's all about initiative, guys. Got a lock on me. Got a lock on you. I'm super happy about that. What's you can that get song? locks as as often as you want there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we have to bring her over here to the side. Moving to position. Question is, no, there's no question. We have to shoot the freaking Zilla there. Confirmed. I was missing a medium laser, by the way, which was not so good. Okay. It's not quite unsteady. Mm, it's gonna be fine. As long as they decide to shoot my Atlas down here, I'm super happy. As long as Decker is completely free to move up there. Also, ability damage is racking up. Why is he not shooting his streaks? Or oh, did he? I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. I don't like this. Can't shoot the Gaussilla there. Is it the right call? Probably. Acknowledged. Probably. Okay. Here we go. We shoot everything but one ear me uh, ear large laser. And oh, do I use vigilance here? With that, I had the ability to engage once more before they do something. But it would mess with my aim now, because I wouldn't be inspired anymore. Yes. We shoot twice with uh, lower hit chance. That's better. Alright. That's a melee attack from the Highlander. Uh, he's doing me the favor of engaging from the front. That's good. How much damage do you have? 64? Okay, that's not too much. Cool. So that worked out pretty fine. Now. Mm, I really don't want to punch this guy again. I really want to punch the Hellslinger. 
And the reason why is that... I think Dagger's Punch is so valuable. Just going for this is just not worth it. Also, I would be super unevasive, if that's even a word. If I just stepped over here and punched him. Uh, I don't like. We have the ability to kill here, though. What we need is 129 damage. Cold shot, maybe. Yeah. That, that was not very accurate. <laughs> but we have a knockdown. <laughs> and we got uh, a Gauss off. And he panicked. Okay. Okay, cool. That is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and now we have more Gaussilla parts on the field. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, let's keep pushing forward. Cool. Oh, that worked out. So, what I want is... Hmm, either going in the back of the Highlander or the Hellslinger. However, the Hellslinger is probably the higher priority target. Moving out. <laughs> Another leg. Decker, we need to talk, okay? Please don't go for legs so much. I know that you like to mess with your enemies, but th that is just not okay. <laughs> Again, at the very least, the Hellslinger is going to stand up as the first mech warrior here. And that means that we can focus on the Highlander in the back or the Hatamoto Chi. Because this guy is not going to hit anything. Probably. A little bit. It's okay though. I guess still I got hurt. Not the Atlas in the back. Mm hmm. So with the second leg destruction, the mech would be down. That would be rather efficient. But can we get there? We need to get some random pinpoint damage on the guy. Okay. Yeah, I think it's gonna be Behemoth that does that. However, Commander. Morphium still has some targets in the back there. And I want him to finish off the Hatamoto Chi. There's one more turn until we can get Warlord online again. Yeah, we do this. I was considering the Highlander, but just makes sense trying to get this mech off here. When I say try, I mean try. <laughs> and hit. Okay. Solid connection on that one. And we push forward. On the move. Always forward. Forward, forward, forward. Okay, he's coming up. Trying to shoot Decker. And as I was saying, trying. That's good. Again, still a little bit worried about the Highlander, but I yes. think it's gonna be okay. Now, for something completely different. Guys, I like this build so much. It's so heat efficient. Firing full complement on enemies. Mm hmm Red numbers on the legs. 34 damage needed. That hit something good. That's pretty good. Yeah, it seems that the Highlander has uh, a doctrine to always melee when possible. And he does. Oh. That hurt. I mean, not so much, but technically it hurt. Alright. So what to do? Mm. Commander. Uh... Ah, of course. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I was thinking about uh, using Decker right now, but you know what? Decker was pushed back in initiative thanks to the Juggernaut ability of the Highlander. That's what they did. All right. Now, we're going to use Morphium. Let's go Morphium. And... Yeah, it's going to be a uh, multi-target not possible with Warlord together. Hmm. Give me a second. Give me a second. He's unsteady, right? Yeah. Oh, let's get even closer. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so what I want here is I want to engage this guy from the side, the Hatamoto Chi, to uh, kill him. We need something like 83 damage. That should be possible. And we need just a little bit of damage here. It's 34. And we shoot. What do we shoot? We shoot this LRM-15. But that's 120, that is 180. I need to mix and match a little bit here, give me a second. 
Okay. So we go with this. Two LRM-15 to the Hellslinger and an LRM-20 and two LRM-15 to the Hata Moto G. It might be double kill. Maybe we can even shoot a 10 on top. Um, yeah. I got it. Let's see. We need a lag damage. Not enough. Okay. Should be definitely enough here though. Mm, I should have shot the LRM-10 to the Hellslinger, definitely. Yeah, the leg damage was was minimal. Okay. So far, so good, though. So, <laughs> maybe not. Switchblade got hit in the head. Damn it. No, what I want to do is I want to go into the back of this Highlander somehow. And you know what? There's no discussion what we're gonna do. We're gonna just use Decker for that. Hey, Decker. Commander. Uh, you cannot Berserk, but... Ah. Yeah, that's a problem. You can only engage from here without moving? Eee. No, I really want to have him evasive. So... Standing by. Let's try to use Switchblade. Switchblade can go in his back. Yeah, and he has Warlord ready. So, let's Warlord him. Let's go, guys. Uh, we shoot everything, because we can again. Yeah, that, that's a dead mech warrior. That's pretty good. All right, this vehicle there. <laughs> cool. So with this, we can now engage from here, hopefully destroying the leg. Putting my weight into it. Punching him. Yeah, we destroyed way more than the leg here. It was the side also and the arm as well. So that's what happened. Leg, a little bit of damage. Traveled over to the side also, blew off, and so on and so on. Okay. Now, last thing to do. To catch the vehicle there. Double time. Let's uh, sensor lock it just in case he runs away from me. Because then I can fire indirectly next turn. Okay. That was interesting, I gotta say. What's up, boss? Nope, not Decker. Um, Switchblade, neither. Okay, I have to move. Moving and shoot. Position. All the LRMs in the world. Let's go with... Honestly, we have Warlord. Let's go, guys. Let's shoot everything. It's the last Fire. enemy. I hope you got your umbrella. No, you didn't. Okay. One more for the trash. I'm sorry. Whew. Oh, that was... A little bit of a higher challenge than uh, the game before. And since I... Still have some time, a little bit of time, guys. We can now go ahead and try to get some money to get off of this planet. I want to travel again. Yeah, it's just getting higher and higher. 41,598 XP. Uh-huh, Decker. You're cheating, man. I see that. You're cheating. Another Godzilla, maybe? Do we need another one? We could technically do that. Double XL engine possible. 340. Sinks. Uh, we got a soul jump jets. That is a way to get a soul jump jets in order to get the Highlander, the heavy metal done. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this now, guys. <laughs> we need more Gaustillas. <laughs> Let's go. Let's just go. Let's see. I really, I, honestly, I really hope for a random soul jump jet. I want to make a jumpy uh, heavy metal. At some point. Okay, so we got the Highlander part, we got the medium laser, we got one! Yes, nice, cool! That is interesting. We could make it, um, again, um, a mobile close range jumping thing, assault mech, that suddenly is in your bag and unloads an Ultra AC20 and a bunch of SRMs, something like that. Okay. <laughs> oh damn it! Could you see the tooltip up there? That was nice. Two hundred thousand repairs. Yeah, that's the downside of it. We have to always invest. We're getting good parts, but we also have to invest into our repairs here. Now again, what I want to do is holy cow! Yeah, the more max we have lying around, um, the the higher our financial reports are getting. So let's go quickly to the storage 
uh, uh, to the store and the storage as a result because I want to see what I can get rid of real quick. Okay, we have an awesome. That is weird. Why is the awesome only worth 140,000 seabills? That has to be a bug. I'm not gonna sell this right now because uh, it might be a fix. There might be a fix uh, in an upcoming patch where I can sell it for higher. So yeah, bombast laser, chainsaw, ER large laser, ER medium lasers, ER PPC, small laser, clan. Is that thing good? I'm never gonna use that thing. It's 62,000. That's pretty good. Clan ER PPCs, fluid guns, gas rifles. We're gonna sell this regular one. We got a bunch of plus and plus plus, so keep them. Two haywires we can get rid of. We have a heavy rifle that I'm never gonna use. <sighs> In front of rocket launchers, heavy lasers, a lot of large lasers. Let's get rid of all of them. I don't like larges, regular larges. Large laser miners. Yeah, that gives us some good monies. LB10X. Uh huh. Light Gauss. Who's, who's running Light Gauss? I'm not running Light Gauss. We have light PPCs. Same thing here. Light machine gun, uh, different story. LRM5s, nope. LRM10s, nope. All of them go away. Even the plus. Even the triple plus. Okay. Regular LRM20s, uh huh. Alright, let's keep five. Well. Hey guys, we got some money here. Mmm, heavy mediums. That's interesting. Maybe we can some we can do some heavy laser spam build of some sort. Uh, we have 58. Hmm? Oh, I cannot hold click. Okay, click 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 click. Uh huh. Okay. Two hundred thousand more. We got some minus lasers. We got some plus 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 pulse lasers. Pulse lasers are actually interesting. I'm gonna sell like five. Mm hmm machine guns, 10 machine I can I like machine guns. I'm gonna keep them. Uh, power armor SRM. Eh. Goodbye, power armor SRM. I don't need you anymore. We got the plasma lands, we got a bunch of regular PPCs, but with all of the plus plus weapons, we can sell them as well. Small lasers. Never gonna use small lasers again, I believe. Go. I'm gonna keep the X pulse and everything. SRM 2s? Nope. Okay, so I think it is safe to say that we have some money now and that we can uh, do whatever we want. Right? Seven times endo steel. Uh, let's sell three. Your IC engine. Goodbye. And I think I'm gonna just keep the rest because now we are actually in a very, very, very safe territory. Okay. I also want to directly spend my stuff again. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go to the ship upgrades. Farah, I want you to completely upgrade the Argo. Everything done. So, what can we do? That's 1.7 million. <laughs> Crap. Uh, do we do it? Do we? The Mad Bay is 2.5 uh, million. I want that at some point. Yeah, let's All go. Right. I'll get the team on it right away. And we are bankrupt again. Almost. Almost, guys. Almost. Uh, let me see. Awesome. Get rid of awesome parts. Let's get rid of... Mm, I don't need Highlanders. I don't need Zeus's. Um, there's another... Oh, that's uh, the full awesome. 140,000. Yeah, this <laughs> is crazy. And I think that's gonna be it for the moment. Cool. So, we travel to the next planet, guys. Because I want to dive deeper into clan territory. As I was saying, so many jump points. 75 days, holy cow. Now, where would we go? We can support... That's a lot of travel time! 43? And that's 60 already. Okay, so we take this one. Set course! Let's go! I think we can sustain ourselves for two months. Kind of. Gonna repair all of the stuff here. And uh, Switchblade is gonna be back in action. That's good. I love financial report. Yeah, if we want to go there, we have to go there, right? Deeper into clan territory. Job's done. Job's done. Is there anything I want to rebuild? No, I don't have the funds to rebuild anything, so we have to just travel. 
Mm, it might be that the travel time is being reduced as soon as we have the drive system upgrade. Um, class warfare. Uh, you're not really fighting? Fight in the gym, guys. One injury from Decker. Beam of this in high spirits and the morale is increased by two. Nice. Cool. Let's go. Decker, you deserve that. So, it says... Wait, 20 days now and 7 days for the repair, right? That means that 13 days are left. As soon as the repair is done, I think it should be lower than 13 days then. Um, it's actually, yeah, 13 days. Let's see. Come on, I don't want to jump too much. Zap. I wonder what we can find. Okay, so... After this jump, we should be able to travel faster. It should be lower than 13 days. Because we have the increased uh, drive sy system now. Let's go. Network orders complete, boss. Says 13 days. Not work, if I may say so. Okay, so maybe... This travel thing is locked in as soon as you schedule it. Okay. Might be. Or maybe the Argo upgrades are not doing anything? The drive system? I don't know. But I think it's the first thing that I'm just saying. Okay, so we have 900,000 left. That is enough for another financial report. That... Should sustain ourselves. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, rumble seat. Finally recalibrated rotation controllers. Hell yeah, let's go. Morale increased by one. You lose 100,000. Do we still have enough money? Um... Yep, we have. So everything is fine. Now, why am I going to a new planet here? Because, first and foremost, I need more clan tech. And that's the thing, guys. I'm not going to take a look at the store because we can't get anything anyway. Um, but yeah, I uh, did not have any more uh, clan missions in on the other planet. And therefore, we are here now in order to fix that. Let me quickly take a look at the Mech Warriors. We see Decca. We see a perfect Mech Warrior. The icon. The perfect image of a mech warrior on the battlefield. Mm. What do we get here? So he's basically 9 gunnery, 9 tactics. That's as much as I can hope for at the moment. I think we go with piloting and guts. Let's Training go. For piloting, maximum sprint. 10% maximum sprint on an annihilator is not that much. 2 health. Hmm. Might give me a second. Yes, Commander. We can get 10% uh, heat generation at some point and 20 overheat. What do you need? Yeah, let's get that heat generation going. Mech warrior training complete. Okay. So, what are we fighting against here? Let me see. We need money. So badly. <laughs> okay. Hey, Darius. Give me a mission. Give me a good one. Uh, is it one of the planets that take a while to connect to the Comstar Merc net? Give me a contract. I want to punch something. I want to destroy something. Darius, it doesn't matter. Give me give me something that is worth just killing. We have an abandoned factory priority mission here. Very interesting. As no Ravian patrol detected unexpected signals here in Solyanka. Sol uh, no, Sa Salonika. And we'd like you to investigate. Uh, Comstar has reactivated an abandoned factory on the planet's surface. Wait, are we fighting against Comstar? Obviously. Okay, interesting. Uh, a battle? Pirates. Blech. Broken chain. Oh, wait. Let me quickly take a look at... Uh, what was it called? Smooth stone? Do we have smooth stone? Let me get back to the Argo. Pass one day. Get back to the command center because that refreshes that. And we get a, a higher list. A longer list here. So, let me see. Walk, walk machine. Retribution. Search denial. Weapon chip and heavy lure. Broken chain. Job offer. Supply interdiction. And then that. Okay. So, nothing so far. <laughs> Who are we up against? Pirate. Job offer. Ooh, Escort. Snow Ravian. Interesting. I don't like Escort too much, but it might be something. Broken Chain. Nope. Heavy Lure. Battle. Planet is tracking an extremely heavy max with Comstar her Heraldry. Mm. Ambush Convoy. Uh, possible as a Starlink, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
received at a local pirate organization. No, retribution. It's another battle. Local pirates. Oh, can you not be pirates here? So, what are we doing here? War machine. Let's go. Assassination. Uh, Snow Ravian signals. Oh, interesting, guys. Super interesting. We're gonna play the five skull assassination mission against the Snow Ravians. Four out of 17 salvage. We're ready to go. This Lance is uh, hopefully performing well enough to get that done. It's gonna be a tough one. Especially since we are probably running against two Lances of Max and then of course the high, high value assassination target. And uh, it's just a very... Yeah, just a, a good amount of enemies that we are fighting on a lunar planet. Yeah, on lunar surface, which is hot, hot, hot. That means that they have the heat advantage. That means that we need to be super efficient in terms of kills. And I'm super happy that we have a melee mech with some good punching capabilities here. That can destroy enemies uh, without building up heat. So that's definitely needed. It's just such a heat saver, especially on hot maps. Okay, oh, it's that one. Mm -hmm. All right, 90 ton, 95 ton. Mm, I have a feeling that we have to push quick. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an uh, ideal place for. So an here's a reinforcement. Uh, they are coming up there. Orders. And what I want to do is, I want to bring Behemoth to the front and see what we have here. 90 ton, 90 ton, 95 ton vehicle. So we check this 95, uh, this 90 tonner out here. It's a Highlander. Okay. And it's a Royal Highlander. Okay. Crap. Orders. Crap, guys. That's not good. Start the miserain. So that thing has improved cooling, which is of course a huge advantage on this planet. Get wrecked. <laughs> I love it. No problem. Okay. On my way. So he's bound to move forward now. Because he's unsteady and th they need to shake it off. Up, Brent, Double can't do anything time. anyway. Let's go. Okay. Problem is that he's now guarded. Orders? I don't like that. Ah, Decker. Decker, Decker, Decker. Roger. Full speed. I don't want to bring him into trouble as of yet. But he could be the guy to go in there and just mop everybody up. Especially the vehicle. That guy's coming closer. Uh-oh. Uh, it would be so good. A 100-ton mech and a 90-ton mech in the outskirts. And then again, there is that. Wait, why do we have line of sight there? It's cheating. That's a lot of weapon systems. I believe it was an Atlas, by the way. The Atlas... Oh, ooh, RS? Has an LRM, two auto cannon fives? Ultra auto cannon fives and two large lasers or something? I don't know. And that was a Highlander. That was a Gauss rifle and LRMs. LRMs, I believe. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay. So yeah, she is uh, too up high in terms of positioning there. Getting a lot of damage from that guy in the outskirts. Two Gausses and four ear mediums or so? Another hundred toner. Okay. Good to go. Yeah. That guy can still not do anything, so he has to reserve once more. Mm, and I believe they will use their reinforcements first, so Behemoth can actually Standing do something by. now. Oh, I wish she had... I really wish she had the uh, ace pilot now. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna go with a direct engagement here. On the move. I just wanna shoot the hell out of them. It's crits on the fusion core. Engine destroyed. Oh, yes, that's a dead Highlander. Oh, that's good. Pretty good, guys. It was amazing. I wish I could preserve now, but I cannot, obviously. So maybe Switchblade is able to thrash the vehicle. Let me see. It's a Puma. Puma 2C. So even if that's not a clan mech, we can get some nice clan tech out of this guy. Okay, get rid of the Puma. Or start working on it, because it has a lot of armor. A lot of it. Oh my god. Sadly, the only thing that we can do with Morphium here is now shooting the Puma. Mm. Or we decide not to shoot. 
saving some ammo. Aye, aye. It's super, super inefficient here to do that, but let's do it anyway. We have to shred the armor at some point. Oh, it might be a kill, actually. Hell yeah, it's a kill! Puma down! That's so good! Reporting. Enemy vehicle Great enemy. job, guys! Great job! Cool! So, in that case, you know what? I'm gonna push forward with Decker because yes, Commander. we can easily do it from here on. Rough terrain is, of course, a thing that I didn't want. Oh, it's an Atlas 2C, actually. <gasps> okay, and that's uh, another Royal Highlander. Okay. So, can we apply paint? Yes, we can. We're gonna apply paint to the Highlander then. Um, and uh, I'm gonna Vigilance here for the damage reduction of 50%, thanks to the fact that we have the Combat Shield. That's pretty good. Engaging. Yeah, that guy's gonna be my Meat Shield. Mm, we didn't get the paint, uh, nor the acid. Damn it. They've got a lock on me. Sensor lock on the Gaussilla. I'm happy with that. I'm so happy. Uh, am I though? I don't know. Could be a headshot with the Gauss now. Nope. Not a headshot, but it went to the right side. Yup. Which is in general a problem because this guy on the right side here might be shooting him as well. Sensors have something. No. It's okay. The Marauder can hold that. I really need to put more Ferrola Mellor into my mechs. It is so good. The damage reduction is so amazing. The head hit is, of course, a problem, but... Standing by. Oh, well. So, the Atlas 2C needs to go. We're gonna Berserk and try to get him off the field. Uh, right side? Yeah, let's go with the right side. Position confirmed. Get Decker! The leg again! Oh, Decker! Decker, Decker, Decker! Why? Why the leg? What are you doing, man? Decker! It's your mech so small that you that you can only reach the leg of the enemy. We need to bring bring you in a bigger mech. I don't, I don't know. So amazing. <sighs> the ankle biter. This guy is pretty accurate for standing up. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. The side dorsals. Eek. I'm taking heavy hits. Yeah, yeah, and he's unsteady, so switchblade. Ready for what you're gonna do now is uh, you're gonna shoot the Atlas once more. Or shoot this guy. Uh, decisions. Decisions. We might be getting lucky and um, destroy something here before it hurts me. Yeah. I copy. This is a damage mitigation turn. Crit, 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 crit. Machine guns, come on. Uh, not quite. Not quite, not quite, not quite. And he's gonna go back. Goodbye. <laughs> Ace pilot, guys. It's such a great ability. But yeah, uh, the, the guy has a crit on his fusion core already. And is wide open in the center. Mm -hmm. The Marauder is technically my meat shield, actually. Mm, now she needs to move as well because she's unsteady. Okay, but uh, contrary to the Annihilator, she's gonna push forward. Move and shoot. Is it a move and shoot? Or is it a sprint and shoot? Oh, she cannot sprint. Yeah, sure, because she's unsteady. Forgot about that. We're gonna go for the Atlas here. Giving him everything I've got. Gonna start working on that guy. Also, he's unsteady now, which means... Oh, yeah, what does it mean? That's an interesting question. I could um, just try to knock him on the ground. Just to mess with them a little bit. But I want to get some more crits on the engine of the Highlander, so I believe the missiles will spread this time. I can just do this. Uh, we're gonna make an even spread, kind of. Something like this, I believe. Let's go. Give me crits. No? Okay. No crits on the engine. And this is just for the knockdown. Okay. Oopsie. Dude, you, you, you lost something while falling. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, that's fine. I also want to bring the Atlas to the front, just to get some more ammo on onto, you know, the front line. Okay. 80 ton max, 100 ton mech. Now the reinforcements are coming. Yeah, we have to be quick with those guys so that we can focus on the guys in the back there. All right, and then there's still this this guy who is completely, you know, sitting in his little bunker there, shooting his stupid long range stuff all the time. I think we have to take him out there. Okay. The Atlas is not that interesting anymore. It's not that dangerous anymore. So I think what I want to do is I want to bring Decker to the side here of the Highlander, killing him, hopefully killing him. And then next turn the Atlas will stand up, just, you know, waving his arms around in panic, doing nothing much, or not much. And then we can use our three assault mechs to do something. Ow. Oh, we gotta pay repair costs for that mission. Can already see it. <laughs> okay, this guy is super scary. It needs to get taken out quickly. It's gonna be one of my next priorities. But again, I think the plan stands. We go into the side here. Yep. Cool. Okay, now the Atlas is gonna stand up. Because it's a target on the ground that uh, needs priority. Yup. And... What's he gonna do? It might be a good idea to go over to the guy on the right side already. And now go in with all of my three mechs that I have here. Ignoring the Atlas for the moment, because Decker can easily finish him off next turn. He has the initiative over the Atlas, and it's fine, basically. Yes, Commander. So, I'm thinking about... Nope. Yeah. I need line of sight! Damn it. Standing by. There we go. Got it here. Sprinting is not a good idea, though. Ah, uh, and I don't have Vigilance ready. Is sprinting a good idea? God. Only, only point that we have is this. Okay, that's an extremely risky move, but I want to take it. Understood. I want to take out this <laughs> stone rhino. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, double clan gauss rifle, large pulse lasers, medium pulse lasers, small pulse lasers. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to get that thing off the battlefield as quickly as possible. Ah, that's a problem. I just realized I made a mistake. Okay, here's why. That guy's gonna move now, and he's gonna prioritize my Atlas. That's not good. He's gonna move because, of course, he needs to shake off his unsteady state. Oh, uh, 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 that was not good. And now he is unsteady, and now everybody will pile on on him. I realized when it was too late. Anyhow, guys, we're gonna keep shooting him. Printing. Go over here. Uh, we're gonna use Warlord. The stone rhino thing needs to just go. Now. Okay. You lost evasion. Oh, please, you guys in the outskirts, please don't be in range. That's order. so important. If we sprinted, is that better? No, it's not really good. Yeah, we're gonna just move and shoot. Aye, aye. Here we go. Mm, Dekka is probably gonna be able to kill him, right? So we don't need to vigilance here. We're gonna vigilance anyway. Firing a full salvo. It's very important. Making sure that we have initiative to uh, reliably get the kills here. That's super duper mega important. Alright, two out of four health. Interesting. And now those guys in the outskirts. I just hope that they don't have long range. Oh, 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 don't get hit. Don't fall down. Okay. Oh, uh, it's fine. No, he's knocked. Oh, crap. But I try to avoid here. Really <laughs> hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cold shot. Right arm. It's okay. It's uh, LBX splash. 
Ooh, damage still alive. Still alive. Okay, so the plan stands. Oh, it doesn't stand because we have no line of sight anymore. Orders. Okay, okay. We can establish that. It's no problem. <clears throat> Acknowledged. Oh, oh. So what you want to do is... Uh, Clan XL. You have to shoot center. Are we... Oh, God, this guy has so much armor and structure. Are we going for head? I mean, it's technically possible. Confirmed. Not enough. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Yeah, critical hit, but not enough. That's the thing. Want to engage from here? Location this Atlas has to confirmed. go right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. So problem is, Kaiju is gonna uh, not Kaiju. Uh, Stone Rhino is gonna stand up, and now we have an Atlas on the ground. It's gonna shoot Morphium. <laughs> not good. Oh, at least he's not good at shooting after standing up. Holy cow. I've seen Morphium dead already. We're still in the game, guys. We're still in it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, again, that was one mistake. Again, it is all about assessing what your enemies will do, what you can do. Positioning, initiative, target priority, all of that. Ooh wee, ooh wee. I want to go back here and shoot the Atlas, right? Right. So why the Atlas? Because he didn't do anything this turn, and we might be able to destroy it before he does. Got it. Okay, Atlas down. Ooh. All right. That's a kill. Stone Rhino. <laughs> Taking reduced damage. Also plus one accuracy thanks to the fact that it's a clan mech, okay. Reduced damage taken. All incoming damage reduced by 20%. Ah, that's because because he's running um, Pharaoh Lamella. Okay, that's the, the only reason. Never mind. What do you need? Oh, switch blade. Switch blade. Ah, that's what we do, right? Oh, we couldn't get in his sight for our enhanced hit chance. I want to do that. And I also want the Vigilance here. For the initiative no. bonus. Okay, got some crits. Scored a critical hit. Mm -hmm. And he's stressed. Okay, so what's that? It's an Annihilator 2C with oh, all the LBXs in the world. Uh, I, I gotta do something about that as well. Ah, so much damage, so much armor on the battlefield. I love it though. Okay, okay. Ooh, what happened? Camera. No, no, no. This is the camera angle that I want. That's perfectly fine for me. I, if, if Decker is getting some damage, a little bit of one damage impacts here, that's absolutely manageable. Uh, I saw Warhammer for a second. Yeah, Warhammer 2C. That thing is scary. Everything is scary. Uh, he did me the favor of going into the radiation field, though. So, more heat on the guy. Although, he doesn't care. Orders. Switchblade. Let's do it again. Almost. Affirmative. Get that stone rhino off here! Hey, we got another head hit. You know what that means, right? The pilot punched out, and the mech fell on the ground in perfect condition. Almost. Move into position. Hey, uh, Why is the heat critical? It didn't show. Oh, because I moved afterwards. Ah, yeah, that might have been a problem here. Mm, that guy is in a very good state right now. We can just reserve him. Leave him for the last mech to move. So he is um, guarded with 50% damage reduction and is... Quite evasive. I forgot that we had a uh, problem with the site also here. That was my bad. I shouldn't have brought the Annihilator to the front so much. Uh, we need to bring Behemoth forward real quick. Standing by. And God, I really want to sprint with her, but I can't. Just not possible. 
Also, that evasion. On my way. Interesting. Uh, Stalker, 3 FB. Okay, that one has ECM. Does he? I guess. 3 FB had ECM. Yeah, in the center, okay. Um, but it's just regular ECM, it's not too crazy. He's quite evasive though. Hmm. Question is, shooting or sensor locking? I think it's always shooting. Yeah. All weapons are go. Absolutely. Uh, this guy needs to go. Quickly. Oh, please prioritize Behemoth, guys. That would be so, so appreciated. And this Annihilator. <laughs> God. Oh, maybe we can bring Decker. What I was worried about. Now Splash really becomes significant. Okay. Head hit and structure exposed. Ooh, and they still have two mechs to move. Yeah, we need to we need to give them another priority target. Give me the Decker. Decker, you gotta go. You gotta take a punch for the team. Ready for orders. Here we go. Hey guys, here's a very good target. It's just right in front of you. Also, he's painting your face with fluids and acid and stuff, and that cannot be tolerated, right? Hey, 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 you! Hey, please attract fire and stuff. Oh, we have the paint. That's super good. We have the paint. Oh my god, minus two accuracy, buddy. Come on, shoot the decker. Shoot the decker. Shoot the decker. Oh, okay, he's not shooting the decker. But the paint was doing a great job. Oh, that was so good. Good job, Decker. That, that was amazing. We still have this guy in the back there, which is uh, King Crab with LRMs and stuff. Mm. What can we do against it? I could try to just shoot it. Or I could try to shoot the Warhammer. The hammer at the moment is probably the worst thing, thanks to the pulse lasers. And the Annihilator we can kill with Decker next turn. Can I attract the fire of the King Crab? Probably not. Also, we are running low on, on ammo here. Mm-hmm. So this should not overheat. Yeah, we go with the Warhammer. It's also a rather squishy target. Okay. Oh, King Crab, please don't go for my Annihilator. I don't want any crits. <laughs> what? Don't go for Decker. Don't go for Decker. No. Melee hands destroyed. What? My ass kicked. You got your ass kicked. Yeah, big time, man. Orders? Big time. Why? Why, though? Can we berserk? Damn it. Our damage output is now nothing. There's still a chance, though. Moving out. Uh, at least we destroyed the side torso. That is helpful. And now a bit of paint and stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, and they chose, they chose uh, Behemoth. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. That mission is quite interesting, I have to say. Ah, damn it. We lost another melee equipment. So, next plan. Oh, I'm more explosion avoided. We have to use Switchblade now, and his twist angle is the left side. So, what we do here is... Oh, I wish I had Warlord. I wish, I wish. I think I'm not shooting one machine gun array. Or am I? No, they don't do too much. They have a spawn liner. We might get some crits on the engine or so. Hmm. That's definitely him now. We have to move him. Oh, no. <laughs> now we did nothing. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Yay. So, what did I say? Left side twisting? That's this side, right? Uh, actually, let's let's pull back a bit. And then we expose something like this. Moving out. Okay. Shielding up that right side like a boss. 
So, he should be still painted, I believe. Yep, and he's knocked down, so his aim should be very, very off. Is it? Let's see how good he is. Crap! Really? You're still going for my Gaussilla? What? Okay, this mission is extremely difficult, guys. Extremely. Okay, can we kill him? Damn it! We have to kill still so many enemies. I could just run away, technically. <laughs> oh man, it, I, I think it has to be the Warhammer here. Yeah, and also we have to move first. Super important. Yeah, we, we, we gotta focus on the Warhammer. Uh-huh. Now you are running into overheat. Oh, behemoth. If we could at least destroy the arms so that the stupid PPCs are not there anymore. Ah. Oh. Alright. Marauder being the target. Just absorb all the damage. Just do it, behemoth. Damage minimal. I really hope that the King Crab is doing the same. And Morphium now. God, 70 missiles left. Nothing. Okay, so uh, I want to trigger a knockdown on this guy. And I want to, of course, go with the plus plus weapons. It's gonna be it. Target acquired. We are out! I didn't expect the fight to go for so long, honestly. And still no arm destruction. I'm out of long range missiles. Yeah, I know. I know, man. You're a, a, a good paperweight now. Okay, let's push forward. You can still punch people. Speaking of, how much? 84 melee damage. Oh crap. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, the doorbell just rang. I need to quickly get that. All right, I am back. So, um, yeah, what happened? Give me a second. Decker got punched in the leg. That is fine. But how do we get those guys off the field? How? I think we're gonna make a call shot against the Warhammer and then... Yeah, Decker in later. Commander. Okay, so here's what we do, guys. Holy cow, this mission! Oh, also, oh, back shots on the King Crab! Oh, so tasty. So damn tasty. I could do it right now. Just shooting the guy in the back. Like crazy. Um. Um, um, um. I don't know, guys. What are we gonna do here? Just finishing this guy off? I think I have to capitalize on this opportunity here. Yeah. Position confirmed. Yeah, we have to. Let's go. Target lock on enemy rear. Okay, that was underwhelming. <laughs> I gotta say, that was underwhelming. I mean, good thing is that the Warhammer is gonna stand up, because again, that's a priority that the enemy AI does. Getting the mechs straight again. That means that we have another chance on shooting the King Crab in the back with our Gauss Zilla. Okay, and they are taking the bait. That's cool. So I'm pretty relieved that Behemoth is just going forward and is uh, taking the damage, because she has still a lot of armor. My god, the repair cost, guys. Oh yeah, let's not think about it. Okay. Uh, I could all have also deck at the guy. Eh, no. No, no, no. Commander. We have to do it like this. Uh-huh. And again, left side twisting. It's important. We can use Warlord. We will use Warlord. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Maximum damage, maximum accuracy. And... We even use Vigilance, just in case, and Confirm. maybe that's a kill. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Machine guns, machine guns, machine guns. Ammo explosion! The machine guns, guys! Take a machine guns! Ah, oh, he's not dead though, but he lost everything. It's fine. It's fine. He's dead, basically. Okay, in that case, guys. Okay, this guy's gonna get overheated. Are we punching from the back again? I guess yes. 
Let's go. On my way. One two. Two damage. You kidding me? Two. Never mind. Engine destroyed. Java destroyed. All right. We only have a stalker left that we have to take care of. I think the pieces are coming together, guys, and we're gonna get out of here alive. Uh, we had a problem. Uh, Decker lost his hand. Not Decker, but his mech lost his hand, which is uh, a major setback. Uh huh. Shut down override successful. I would have loved so hard if he would shut down now. Okay. Uh, we have 60 melee damage. Sure. Let's sprint. Let's go. Atlas punch. Okay. So, uh, I want Switchblade to shoot the Warhammer and Decker to punch the Stalker. So what we do here is this. Okay, cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Also, I'm gonna Vigilance again because I cannot lose anything here. <laughs> shoot him! Kill him! Crit him! Finally! Yeah, that's what I want to see. Kapow. Dead. Good. Good to go. And now Decker. Please. You cannot berserk, sadly, but it might be enough. It. Oh, it's not actually. It's not. Okay though. Acid. ECM destroyed. Great. Reporting. Critical Super hit. good. My and <laughs> King Crab is just rattling around, doing nothing. Look at that. He's looking like a stalker without the <laughs> without the arms. Oh, Look at that! King Crab! You're dead! Okay. Receiving you. Um. Yes, Commander. Mm. Yeah, Behemoth. Orders. Behemoth. Are you gonna go into the side? Yeah, side for high hit chance. Uh, we can not shoot ev everything. Copy that. We're gonna try our best though. Alright, side also destroyed. So that's a lot of energy and uh, missile weapons less on the battlefield. Woo. I think it's time to go home, guys. And maybe it's time to go home with a nice stone rhino. Okay. Ah, shut down, initiated. Orders. Hey, morph. Go in, morph. Okay. Cool. So, with that, Receiving you. I'm gonna decker you. Um, fluid gun is empty. Ooh, that was the last one. Aye, aye. Engaging. The leg again? Really, Decker? Really? Okay. Uh huh. Good to go. Switchblade. Um, you know what Sp Switchblade is gonna do? I'm gonna shoot the King Crab, and the reason why is because the King Crab can still punch for 50 damage, while the Stalker is just starting up again. Okay. So the Stalker has basically um, a dead turn. Mm. And we can do this afterwards. Oof! What a tough mission, guys! We came out of it alive. We lost, uh, I think, only a hand actuator. And we have to repair a lot. Also, what's going on? Hey, game. Okay, I'm just gonna give game a little bit of time. Hopefully, hopefully it will recover. Yeah, okay, cool. So, <laughs> let's have a look at the damage that we took, the repair costs that we have to pay now, but the salvage that we could get. Uh, there was a lot of interesting and good stuff on the battlefield, as in super good stuff. 400,000, that will not even cover my expenses. So, nothing lost here. The Marauder is just such a meat shield. I need um, f the Feral Lamella on every mech, every single one. Ah, Combat Shield destroyed, okay. But we also have another Combat Shield that we can use. Then we have nothing destroyed here, we got so lucky with that. So damn lucky. We could have gotten a Gauss Explosion in the arm and then would have ripped off everything. And you're fine as well. I have a feeling that we need to rebuild the Atlas just a tiny bit. Maybe. Okay. I mean, Annihilator 2C. Hmm, it's an interesting mech. I I want something else though. I I want this. One, two, three, four, five. 
Yeah. Give me that stone rhino. Also look at all the hard points. I, I want that. Oh god. We could also go for like basically everything here. All the good stuff. All of it. Maybe. Oh, double pharaoh, lamellor. That's pretty good. I don't know, guys. Am I too crazy about getting more mechs? Shall I go for more stuff that I can actually put into my mechs in order to outfit them? I think I have to make a decision at some point, but we have the chance to get a fresh stone rhino right now. If we are getting lucky. We have 13 more picks out of this huge loot table, and if it's the last stone rhino part, then I'm gonna freak out. Let's see. And I'm gonna prioritize new new equipment soon, okay? Let's go. Give me the stone rhino! I want that! Stone rhino. Three, two, one. Rhino! One, two, three, four. Stone Rhino! Ah! RNG Jesus, be praised! We also got a bunch of double heat things. I don't care, but oh, this is Stone Rhino! My god! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my god! We gotta repair that, guys. I have no words for that. That is so amazing. My mind is blown. That is so damn good. Holy cow! Iron Jesus, what did you do to me today? What did I do to you that you are so grateful? You are so generous, man. Okay. Guys, I want to see what we can repair out of that thing. It might be everything. I mean, not really, but let's see. Or if we can get Feral Lamella here, it would be so good. <laughs> the clan redesign of a Maris Folly. Uh, 500,000 repair cost. Hell yeah. It's okay, guys. We're nearly broke, man. I know that we are nearly broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, let's go to the bay. Let's go to the... Ooh. Ooh. Interesting, guys. Look at this. Okay. Look at what we can repair. Everything. Almost. We have a double heatsink kit and a fusion core. We have the Feral Lamella. We have the XL Clan engine. We have a bunch of double heatsinks here. We have double Clan Gauss rifles. <gasps> that is amazing! I have no words for that. That thing is fresh. So fresh. We have a Clan Notch Pulse. We have... Oh my god. Oh my god. We just won the jackpot. Okay, confirm this. Confirm this. I want to build a Long stone end. rhino build. Broke, and we need money. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Panther. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's get rid of this. Medium max, heavy max. Uh, it might be that I have to give up on my dreams of getting my... Um, getting my pirate cutter fracked. Uh, there's a Kraken. We have Kraken parts already. Enough of them. Okay, let's get rid of the Stalker. We're almost completely out of cash. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, Kraken. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so happy right now. That is your episode of Rogue Take for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.